bitch. She don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hit and love. Scanny ass bitch there. Yeah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, be Scanning, and today I'm here to check out motherfucking A Town and Snacks. It's beef going on. If you don't know who A Town is, you know what I'm saying. He had the uh, the the bird. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping, nigga. He had that shit. I'm telling you. If once y'all see him, y'all will see. Oh, okay, I've seen him before. But okay. So basically, the story behind this, um, well, I'm going to show you all the videos because I didn't really dive too much into it because I wanted to react to it, but it's just some shit going on on Instagram. All right, I'm going to try to give you all a backstory. All right, A-Town, when he was coming up, I assumed he was mentally retarded. Like, I did, and then I said that on Instagram, like, when I seen this pop up, I was like, damn. How y'all gonna try to take advantage of A-Town like this, knowing, like, he don't know what he doing? You know what I'm saying? And then people commented back, was like, no, nah, nigga, like, you tripping. He know good and he know bad. He know this, he know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, his mind is there. So, that's, the, I can't really be like, yeah, man, leave A-Town alone. Because if y'all say his mind there, then, you know, I got to treat this fair. But, yeah, I heard that basically uh, Snacks... Uh, you know how A-Town was big as fuck? Snacks was the one running his page. Then he ended up selling uh, A-Town's Instagram to the dude, to some sh sneaker dude. He sold it for like $15,000. Um, and now it's like, I think Snacks, he's on a radio thing talking about it. And A-Town, he made a video with his mom. That's, that's how I knew this shit was serious. Because he had his mom beside him. And they was both sitting there like... Serious as hell, you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, uh, let me let me just stop talking. I was debating which one I should even watch first with y'all type shit. Um, fuck it, we're gonna start with the snacks and then I'm gonna go back and show y'all, um, him and his mom. Yeah, I'm what? Uh, and this one, I'm gonna be skipping around through it because it it has a lot of a lot of pauses, a lot of parts you can't hear shit. So I'm gonna just try to skip through this one. What? Alright. Uh, Dude. Uh, he crying right here. When I first heard it, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe he was really crying because. About 20, 30 seconds after that, it was kind of back to the normal voice type shit. But, you know, got a, got a show. Got to, you know what I'm saying, put on that show. I feel you. Snacks, snacks. Not gonna lie, this interview was very hard to follow along with. Whoever was recording this shit, I couldn't hear shit. This nigga was crying. Like, I don't know, I was having a hard time hearing it. But I'm gonna try to try to show y'all the best I can. Yo, what? All right, so I think the radio person is, I guess she's affiliated with A Town and Snacks type shit. So that's why she said like all the shit we didn't did for this nigga, and he gonna do this. That's 
the shit that killed me. Like, nigga, you took bats and hits. Mon- Dude. That's what his mama said? Hello? The thing is, Ned called me yesterday to ask me, can I post up on Alan's page about the baby? I said, this part is where it lost me. Because I'm wondering... Why the fuck is these niggas beefing over a fuck uh, over snacks once in the world to see his baby? Because what they're about to say is basically snacks promoted everything A Town did. So now that snacks is doing something positive, he wants some love shown. And now A Town like he don't even want to post it on his page type shit. And. I can I see where both sides would be coming from, but to make this a whole beef, a whole argument over that, I don't know about that. Sure. Now he asked me first, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I posted. I hadn't had a chance to tell Alice. I, Alice told me like, why is that up there? Alice didn't even talk. He saw Alice was lying that I had said he could do it. Alice had something I had. Let him if y'all can't it. hear it, my bad. See, I, I'm honestly just trying to explain this to y'all so y'all don't really got to sit here and watch this whole long ass video. First of all, it shouldn't even have been like, this is your best friend, the guy who's been looking out for you, caring for you, making sure people don't do nothing to you, putting our lives on the line, literally. He's been protecting you from okay, day one. Maureen, 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 Maureen. Uh-huh. Maureen, Maureen. Please let me finish, okay? Go ahead. And as I said, he can sit up here and boo-hoo all he wants, I don't care. What I'm saying, he can boo-hoo to, you, to all he wants. I don't care. Anytime I'm a thugger. I said, we understand that, hey, you know, you all, he has supported your music, okay? Said, now, you're forgetting one thing. This is personal. If he doesn't want to do this, this is up to him. Oh, right, yeah, I'm going to skip past this part because you know what I'm saying? It really, this ain't, that ain't none of our business. We don't give a fuck about the damn... No offense to snacks, but we don't give a fuck about the baby situation. That is something that, you know what I'm saying, y'all should have handled as brothers, as niggas, as business people, whatever. I can't make him... So, so, yeah, I'm skipping through that. Okay? I can't make him feel anything. It's not been business. Okay? Now, I can't make him feel Wow. Um, I don't even know what to say about that because that's... You're right. You know what? A-Town has every right not to owe Snacks anything, feel nothing towards him, do nothing for him, and, you know, not have any personal connection other than business. That's A-Town's given right. On a moral point, that's fucked up. But, hey, I'm not going to argue with you guys. This radio is low-key reminded me of a motherfucking... I was about to comment her and call her a motherfucking low-budget Wendy Williams, but I'm not. She does remind me of Wendy Williams, though. It's about that. I just felt like Snacks, he's feeling hurt because this is his dog and his boy and he thought that they were more than just business partners. And like I, like you said, A-Town has every right well, to do that. You can be a dog and boy to people, but just because you have a baby doesn't mean you're going to support it. You don't have to support it. Eh. I see where she's going with that. But at the same time, uh, I just had my son. Uh, January 1st. That's like my fucking young two leader or Kales or my brother, Zay Rashad. Them not supporting me and being like, nigga, you the one, you had a baby, nigga, that ain't got shit to do with me. Y'all, I mean, yeah, they can say that. Yeah, to some people that may be fine, but to someone that actually, you know what I'm saying, give us a fuck, they're gonna be like, well, shit, my nigga. I, I felt like you supposed to be down for whatever I'm going through because I'm going to be down for whatever you going through. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to ride for each other, supposed to die for each other. That's how boys work. I don't know. I don't know how their situation, but I mean, that's how I would be with my niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Are you going to be best friends with somebody you don't necessarily agree with what they do? Okay? So I'm like, hey, this is, hey, you, you have a baby. Like, I'm not saying you Congratulations to her baby. So, the 
I can barely hear out. I have to agree with you that you have the baby, you should be happy for it. So, so it doesn't appear that way. But hold on. I wish this thing is, uh, Snacks Mike was turned up. The girl. The that girl. same weirdo girl that got that, that weird Miami shit going on, and then yeah. all of a sudden we'll your shit plummeted. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Look, let's, yeah. He's not, he's not supposed to be supporting you as a person, but what he's saying is, okay, Snacks is having a baby. Okay, I'm having a baby. You should be happy for me. Okay, he's no. not. But see the whole Okay, but look, I get I get how he feel he has every right to feel that way. But in the same Okay, but you're make so you're then you're in essence telling him because it don't have anything to do with Lexi on, on one behalf, because this is also Snack's son, Snack's child. So are you saying that that child can never be around A Town? I had a little technical difficulty, but this, this whole situation is just really iffy. Because it makes me think, like, damn, is their relationship as, you know what I'm saying, best friends that fucked up? They, was this all just about money? Because me seeing them, you know what I'm saying, as a spectator, me as a fan, it looked like them niggas' real life was best friends. It looked like they actually gave a fuck about each other. It actually looked like something rather than just, like, uh, somebody having a manager or something just trying to come up. I don't know. I thought it was more. I'm not dealing with that. Am I lying, Alan? You can't deal with me. I'm not lying. Okay. And, and he in the background. I, said, I mean, I don't want to deal with this shit. I don't know what to say. Okay, well. Hey, look. Listen. It's if he doesn't like kids, that's fine. Or he doesn't like Snacks Kid. Is that... Because that's the... This right here... Okay. I'm going to give two sides. This right here, in my opinion, is fucked up. Because this... Uh, the host, the wh whoever's doing this, asked him that question multiple times on purpose to get that answer out of him. What he's about to say is, I mean, I don't like kids. And I swear, if if y'all are watching this right now, because this shit just can't... I, I just seen this shit pop up a couple hours ago. So if we see somehow that something's popping up that A-Town fucking hates little kids or something that comes up, just know it's because of this bad media type shit. Like, y'all see it in the title. Like, this shit... I mean, yeah, he did basically admit and said, like, oh, I mean, I don't like kids. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure he really doesn't have a problem with kids. He really just doesn't fuck with damn snacks. So he's just like, man, fuck everybody. I don't know. I don't know, man. But you support other people's kids and stuff, So, no, I want to hear from Alan. Is it you don't like kids or just his? You see, she has multiple. I don't like kids. I don't like kids. You don't want to be around kids, or you just don't want to be around kids? Do you have a problem with snacks, child, or all? Y'all hear how many times that question was asked? He said it like four or five times. And I'm sure some of this is cut out. So she probably asked him more than that. Like. All kids. That's what she's asking you. She wants to hear from you. And I feel like his mom was asking him, hoping him would fuck up. Like, no, my nigga. Like, she's asking you, is you just talking about his kids or all kids in general, my nigga? Please don't say all kids in general. He's like, Shh, fuck all them niggas, man. Man. And that's that's it right there. But your fan base is kids. Ah. Like, shit, man. I don't know. So you don't like being around him? Like, how would I? He felt like A-Town was his brother, his best friend. He put a lot of other people before, I mean, after A-Town. 
people that were his close friends that were like, hey, my nigga, I need you to put me up. He's like, no, nah, we trying to, me and A-Town, I'm trying to take care of A-Town. When I, and it was, that's, when A-Town is saying all of a sudden that he doesn't like kids, okay, we did not really. See, it, that's, that's not all he said out of that. Like how they just was talking about, oh, and uh, Snacks is trying to do this and do this for A-Town. And A-Town's just, he doesn't like kids. Like, shit like that is bad media. We know that. Because for us, you're around kids. Hey, 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 hey. Look, look. And you'll talk to me. He'll talk to me and say, yo, I like, you know, being around kids. And I've been bullied when I was a kid. So I don't know what's true hey, hey, hey. Because these are the things he'll have conversations with me about. I've been... Us. Okay. okay, look. It's okay. We're not going to do that. But we have a whole other answer here. He don't want us in the conversation. I'm done. And how it is. I don't want it. Look. Damn, I wish this the bar. All I can hear is really is the radio host's voice. Like I wish we could really hear the main people that we came to fucking hear his voice. Heard it snacks, dude. Just listen. making this video so long you know what i'm saying I, di I didn't mean to but th this story right here is just something that really got my mind mind doing my fucking jumping jacks i don't know man damn this shit low as fuck too Okay, she just said Snacks, like, basically them two fucked with each other hard, and Snacks ended up living at his house. She said she paid for his food, his phones, his, like all that shit. She was his mom too, I guess. That she was trying to, see I don't know if y'all can hear this that's why I'm re-saying it but she said basically she was trying to be nice cause you know what I'm saying moms do be doing that cause I got a couple of my niggas they, they live with my other niggas type shit they moms looking out for them so I've heard this shit before real talk like oh well motherfucker was getting money basically and he ain't even bothered to help me out and I didn't spend all this shit that's basically what she was saying like she spent all that money on him basically I feel like she knew him and A-Town was out getting money because A-Town was doing events and shit. And none of it came back to her and she was the one looking out for the both of them. It just wasn't offered. I mean, I can I, I can see where she's saying and I can also not see. 
Because you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you did take all the the time to help. But you could have did it just out of the kindness of your heart and not think about the money value. Or, you know what I'm saying, you was thinking about the money value and you're like, shit, nigga. The fuck? You fucking up my money. Uh, I don't know. Sold the account to Kicktronics for fifteen thousand dollars. Alright, this person got the videos out of the line type shit. I should have watched this one first type shit, so I could have... Actually, no, I probably should have, because I would have definitely came into it feeling like, fuck snacks. I was... I don't... Me, personally, yeah, I fuck with A-Town more because that is the one that was put out as the to-be-seen type shit. But I don't know either one of these niggas. So, quite frankly, I don't give a damn. They don't give a damn about me. But, but, me, I always got to be fair about shit. I got to see both sides. I think they're talking about the phone call that they just had. The one we was just listening to. I think they didn't know that it was being recorded, I guess. I don't know how, because that one woman, she sounded like, yeah, I got you. But she sounded like she was out to get some, some goods. Max is being very petty. He is. The thing is, A-Town doesn't want to work with him anymore. No, which I'm in agreement with him. Wow. <laughs> because of all the stuff that he has done. a, a -town over here doing ad-libs and shit. <laughs> Coming out of A-Town's mouth himself, he said, A-Town used me. A like, I mean, not A-Town, uh, Snacks used him. Uh, I honestly, I can believe that because all the videos I was seeing, yeah, I'm like, okay, A-Town crazy. But at the same time, no. A-Town, I don't feel like he was coming up with all that shit himself. I feel like he had someone there. Some people older than him, some people backing him, claiming they a manager, telling him to do some stupid shit, tell, like having him in them stupid situations to really, like, fuck up his life type shit. So I can see the the using part. I feel, uh, let me know what y'all think, I just think, shout out my brother Zay Rashad right there, good, but yeah, I just think, it, I do believe it, I believe it on both sides, cause low key, A-Town was in a damn strip club, A-Town was throwing money in, A-Town was doing shit, I low key do feel like he, they both probably did have money. They probably, some along the way, fucked up their money. Something had to happen. Something went down. Well, not both of them. But I feel like A-Town probably, the money situation didn't go as good as Snacks did. Because one, Snacks is older. Snacks has the... Because I see on his Instagram, he just had a baby and shit. So, you know, I can see it. But this shit, I don't, I don't know, man. That shit's crazy. And I've been wondering where the fuck A Town been. I've been, 
I swear I've been thinking about shit like that. And it's just crazy to see this what the fuck people be going. Like, besides all the viral videos and all the fucking funny shenanigans and all that shit, niggas real life be going through shit. Like, with management and shit like that. That shit ain't right. Man, shout out to A-Town. Shout out to motherfucking Snacks. I hope y'all get the shit right. I hope this shit gets fair, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to A-Town's mom, too. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. I'm out. Only time you feel it safe when you walking with gang. Big Glock with no fucks, get your whole gang same. Look, shout out to everybody fucking with me. Huh? Twitter behind me doing time, bitch, I'm tugging the semi. I need two liters of Ciroc, call that nigga Diddy. Many men with death upon me, got me feeling like I'm 50. I lost my fingerprint from all this damn thumb and dope. Lock up in your mouth, no word, jail, but it's numbing too fast. Shut the cash, all y'all little niggas slugging. Let your head get you dead, all that fucking mean mugging. Wow, wow. Diamonds on me looking sick, a nigga got germs. Wow. Niggas rolling point fives, breaking down burns. Wow. Bitch, and talk about the money, kick it to the curb. Smoking gas on my pilot, niggas hop a herb. A nigga fresh up the Try with my once in my last, smoking on rust of gas. Addy wanted me bad, remember smoking me pad. Now smoking on thrash, with a hard up in cash, flexing the baby rag. Flexing hard, but your bank roll little. I got money different color, like my bank roll Skittles. Damn. It'd be a shame if you play me like a fiddle, but you can't do that, cause I ain't sentimental. Bitch, fuck you, you a like my stay cool. Why? Big racks with me, boy, stop saying what you doing. What you doing? Making plays, getting plays, I be moving. Used to see me in garage, now you see me up in movies. Oh, no, I'm a boss and a leader, bitch, I'm running the game. You a bitch on the lease, I'm a beast on the chain.